Morning people of the grid. <coughs> I'm just about at my destination. I've got to drop the trailer off. I left really early this morning. Traffic was brutal. Road conditions were brutal. You do not want to be towing a trailer when it's this slippery. I've got four wheel drive on the truck on right now, making it like I'm one minute away. So it's going to be all good, but uh, man, it would have been nice if I could have dropped it off on Saturday like I had originally planned. Oh well got to be flexible so i'm going to drop it off and then uh, we have a funeral to go to this morning but uh, we'll catch up with you guys this afternoon just another winter day in the city <clears throat> now it's actually cleared off we got the kids in school rush hour is over i'm running in for a quick meeting and uh I need to plug in somewhere so I'll find a spot for that maybe over lunch and then I'll be back in the home office for the afternoon crazy kind of day a lot of snow it's gonna be a great snowboarding year this year Jack it up. Hey people of the grid, Miker here. I wanted to share with you guys a little process that contains a gotcha if you do it wrong. And the process is updating, let's say, your old Apple Watch to a new watch, but taking all of the stuff from this watch to the new one and getting it in the right place. Here's the deal. What you need to do... Hey, Sammy Pepper. Hi. Um, I just wanted to know who's the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Coffee Booster, but we'll get to that later. Okay. So, <laughs> so here's the thing. It's reminding me to breathe. Here's the thing. If you have an existing Apple Watch and you're tracking... Oh, Asian. If you're tracking... I hope I didn't set that. If you're tracking your health information on here, you know, your number of workouts and you've got a number of... Um, awards and things on here, your health data. Basically what Apple does is they say anything that's personal to you, your health data, we don't just want to copy it over to another device. You need to back it up to your phone and then you can choose to restore it. Here's the gotcha. If you upgrade your watch and your phone at the same time, what you need to do is just do one at a time. So I would recommend um, basically you have to Un unlink the watch from the phone that causes a backup of the watch data to the phone then you need to back up your phone to your computer like to iTunes and you have to tick off or check the encrypted uh, backup if you don't encrypt it that health data won't come over and it won't end up back on your new watch so what I did because I had an existing watch wanted to upgrade to the new one that just came in I basically just went on my phone and I said um, disconnect this watch. So you unpair the watch. That process, unpairing it from the phone, causes a backup of the watch data to the phone, and then you can pair the new watch to your phone, and that takes care of moving all of the data over. So that's the process. Just remember, if you're just doing a new watch, same, same iPhone, what you want to do is unpair your old watch, wait for that to finish, and then pair the phone to the new watch, and it'll send all your health data over. If you're upgrading your iPhone, which many of you might be doing, especially now with the new ones coming out, what you want to do is unpair the watch from the phone. That causes a backup from the watch to the phone. Then back up your phone using the encrypted checkbox to iTunes. Then when you get your new phone, you restore that backup to the phone. That makes your new phone exactly like your old one with all the same stuff and with your health data. Then you can pair that new phone with a new watch, say this one, and it'll restore all of your stuff, including your little awards and your health data and your, your personal type stuff. It's a pain in the butt because you don't want to lose that stuff. It's taken months to get all those little rings. You don't want to lose them. So there you go. That's my public service announcement on how to properly migrate from old to new. We recently went through this because I had uh, ordered up the new <laughs> a 
Amelia is practicing tuba. I had ordered up a new uh, watch series four, and so that triggers a, a down sort of down uh, sizing where my old Apple III watch, which isn't that old, goes to Ethan, and then Ethan's original Apple watch were going to be selling this. Makes it almost a whole day, um, but it's generation one. It's like first gen. There was a gen zero, which was quickly replaced by a gen one, pretty much the same specs, just a slightly different chipset. Um, this is gen one, not quite waterproof, but even my gen one, which I had sold about a year ago, I had uh, used in the shower every day. I, I had jumped into water with it and it did just fine. So they are water resistant. So there you go. Um, yeah, loving the new one. Like the screen size, look at that. It's it's massive and it looks, it looks awesome. Look at this display. This watch face, this one is one of my favorites. It's the, uh, whatever it is, infograph. And then this one, this one is, is just pretty killer. Yeah, um, Coffee Booster. Why, these guys sent me these and they said, hey, if you wanna chat about it, that'd be really nice. The reason I said, yeah, go ahead and send it to me is, I take multivitamins and it's such a pain. I always forget to take them because in the morning I'm rushing to get ready and I'm out of here. The thing I never forget to take is my tea or my coffee. This stuff is tasteless and where is it? There it is, multivitamin, it's tasteless. You put a teaspoon in your coffee or your tea, you can do two a day and you get that vitamin hit, which you know I would normally get in the morning anyway. So they got some other stuff, which I thought was cool because I was taking it to collagen um, and then they've got, you know, some mind stuff, make you alert, and some immunity boosting stuff, which I thought I would try. I'll let you know how it goes. Like I said, I regularly take vitamins because I don't always eat all the right foods when I'm traveling. I make some bad food choices. Multivitamins are my way of kind of backfilling what I need. So if you're interested, I'll put a link below, Coffee Booster. I got a code. If you use my code... I don't know what I get from them. Maybe a t-shirt or a hat, which is all right. Or maybe some more vitamin stuff. I don't know. Anyways, it'll give you, uh, yeah, it'll give you a way to, to get the stuff if you're interested in that stuff. Um, that's it, guys. Our Tuesday, this is a first day of a short week because we had Thanksgiving on the weekend. So we are going into Wednesday tomorrow. Like the week will be halfway over tomorrow. By the way, towing the truck and trailer this morning, oh man, that was, it was scary, scary, because going downhill, the, it slides, right? If I if I nail the brakes, it'll the truck will slide and the trailer will slide. Now I've got the trailer, the, the brake programmed to engage the trailer brake a microsecond before the truck brake, which means I'm not using all truck brakes to slow things down. But you can get into a condition where, you know, sliding and jackknifing can occur. Semis do it all the time in this weather. And then you add to that people that don't know how to drive around people that are towing and they just zip in in front of you. And I'm like, you don't even realize that I cannot stop. I, if you're driving a car around anything that's towing, a trailer or a semi or a boat, give them lots of room. Seriously. If you've never towed, you don't even know the kind of stress it causes to those drivers when you jump in front because they know that they can't stop. They know that if anything happens up ahead, they're going right through you and your car is going to be like a belt buckle on their on their truck. You don't do that. So anyways, I got to the trailer place. I dropped off the trailer. Um, that was like at 7, 740 this morning. So they've got it. They're working on it. The winter rise is happening. Um, and then by this afternoon, all of that snow that fell had melted and the roads were just wet. They weren't slick. So wet is fine. But that ice that we had, we had ice rain last night. That's a bad, bad condition. Anyways, we're looking forward to just wet or dry for the rest of the week. We'll see. Right now, it's below freezing still. So weird. Our winter started early. I hope it goes back to fall. All right, guys. Catch up with you tomorrow. Maker out. Oh,